Hi, welcome back. So this is the second part of lesson number one. Now we're going to discuss relative addressing and absolute addressing. So right now, what we have done is to write a formula for G7 or H7. This is equal to G7 divided by G5 times 30. So again, it's correct. However, uh, if you're going to see okay so the task is actually at the right side uh, just to give you again an idea that's uh, it's on the Q column number one is compute the grades of the students so that's what we are doing actually right now so let's go back So G7 divided by G5 times 30. So we have to copy and paste. Let's just copy and paste it to the next cell. So right now we have an error which says value error. Value error, that means you're dividing a number which is not a number or to a number that is not a number. So anyway, there are a lot of meaning for this error. So what you have to do right now is just to double check your formula. <clears throat> now for this formula, just try to analyze G8. So correct, we want to divide Almaha's score over this 80. But this 80 should be fixed. The problem when you copy a formula to the next cell, G7 becomes G8, G5 becomes G6. You don't have problem copying G7 to G8, G8 to G9. So because that's what is Excel, uh, Excel's default. We call it relative addressing. When you copy a cell to another cell, the formula adjusts or the cell reference adjusts. Okay, uh, by default, it will just adjust one by one. Okay, now the problem is G5 also becomes G6, and we don't want to do that. We want always all, all these numbers to be divided with the same cell, which is G5, which is 80. Okay, why do we have to call that and not only divide G, uh, G8 or G7 divided by 80, sir? Why do we do have to divide G7 by G5? Why don't we just use a constant. The problem with uh, you doing that, like G7 divided by 80, uh, writing the number 80, is that what if the total quizzes, after some time, you you change it. Let's say, oh, it's not 80 anymore, it's 90. So all you have to do, if you have the formula ready, then you just need to change the cell. 80 becomes 90, so something like that. So anyway, so our topic is actually relative addressing. First, that's the default of Excel. When you copy a formula to another cell, it will adjust automatically. Now, but in this case, when you copy this formula to another one, we don't want this to change. G5 must be fixed. And that's what we will call absolute addressing. Absolute means no change. Now, all you have to do is put your cursor cursor before G5 and press the F4 key on your keyboard. F4, F4 key. Press that one, you can see that there will be changes on the formula. And that is the dollar sign. Now I press F4, dollar G dollar five, I press F4 again, G becomes, uh, it becomes G dollar five, I press again F4, and it becomes dollar G5, and I press again, it will remove all the dollar sign. Now, simple concept, if you cannot, if you're not uh, comfortable with the, the F4 key, just type the dollar sign, which is ship number four. Okay, and then type. Okay, that's absolute addressing. 
press enter. Now you can copy and paste. Okay, so this should be the result. Now I want this, I want to share to you a little formatting. So just highlight all your cells and then just on the number group, press the decrease decimal. So we just keep one decimal at a time. Okay, so with that, I want you to complete the uh, grading sheet. Task number one, compute the grades of the students. Okay, while I'll do that, hopefully you'll do that also with yourself. Uh, and then I'll see you on the next video to uh, do the next task. Okay, and we're going to finish lesson number one. Okay, so I'll see you on lesson number uh, on the third part of this video uh, for the continuation of this lesson. So again, ciao.